Welcome everyone. So in my last video, people just wanted to know how I set up that proxy rig. So what I'll do, I'll do a quick tutorial on how I did that. Very simple. There's rigs out there that are proxy rigs that you can uh, download as well. But uh, this is just something I use and I just thought I'd just share it with you. So let's check it out. Let's put it in here. Let's go to create polygon. Let's go to cube. Very simple. All I'm doing, this first one, <clears throat> So let's just focus this all in. All right, the first one, the front view, I'll just change everything to vertex. And I'm gonna do the torso first. Yeah, so I'm just gonna scale this. So I just scale it down. And the side view is fine. And then all I'm doing is I'll duplicate that, move it up, rotate it 180. So it's facing the other way, so there. And then you know what, you might want to... I'll just scale this down a little bit, so this is like the bottom bit. And then uh, you also might want to just make it thinner. You can, you can decide how you want to do this, but I just normally have it a bit thinner like this. And then... Uh, and then you've got the head, so I'll just go like this. You can just duplicate this, bring it up. Now here with the head, you can just uh, either turn it around. So I'll do that another 180, 180, right? And then you can scale that however you want. So it's up to you how you want it. You can just have it like this. Bring it in a bit. And then you could just go get the vertex and you could scale that just to match the bottom bit. But it's up to you. But that's basically it. That's all you do. And now the the main thing I do now is after I've done this, I'll select them all. I'll go to select freeze transform. So you want to, sorry, I'm just undo that. When you select it, you can see all of them have different values here. Now, I just like to clean when you're rigging, you want to just freeze everything, make sure everything's zero that that position I don't, i'm not a rigger but this is what a lot of my mates would do you know they would make sure that the transfers are frozen in that space so everything's like there's no conflict i'm not sure what the science is behind it but you know that's that's what uh, the practice is and now what i'll do here now you see i want all of them to pivot from the bottom so all i do is i go in the middle press insert i'll do that again sorry i'll select it Press insert, so the center shows, and I'm just bringing the center down to the bottom, so it pivots from the bottom. And the next one is the same. I'll, you can select it and move it down. You have to keep pressing insert. Select the next one and move it down. Okay, and then that's all frozen. I'll just I just got a habit of freezing it all again when all the centers are. But you don't have to. But if you look now. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have frozen that because then the centers go back to normal. Yeah, this one. Nope, I messed that up. All right, look, let me select everything. You might hear some lightning. Uh, some fun. You might hear some lightning. You might hear some thunder. Yeah, it's just uh, thunderstorms here. Oh, let me go to insert. Move this up. There you go. This one. Uh, sorry, now actually what we'll do, we'll deselect. Go to the second one. You, you can see I'm not a modeler or rigging guy. Come here, second one, bring it down, deselect, select the next one, transform, insert, press it down. Okay, now these should all, what's wrong with this one? Okay, let's insert, bring this up, bring it up there. That's it, that's all working. So look, you can see here, it's rotating from the pivot. This one is rotating as well, and this one is rotating. Okay, now, all we have to do now is hierarchy. So what we'll do, we'll just name this, because naming is good practice. Sorry. Torso. Torso, and this is the head. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to select everything and group it. The group is what we're going to be moving. So if we select the group and transform, 
it's already at the root, it's at the bottom there. So we don't really need to touch that. Sometimes the, when you group, the center is off, you bring it back. So make, the, make sure that what we can do is just for example, actually we'll leave it how it is. I was going to move it a bit more down, but it doesn't matter. But we, if, you, if you look now, you can select the group, it will move everything. Now what you want to do here is you want to go inside the group and you want the hips inside the torso. And then you want the you want the head inside the torso. Yeah, so if you select the hips. Wait, which way is it? Which way is this done? Wait, hold it. Wait, let me check this out. I always mess this up. Actually, let's get this out. I always mess this up, sorry. So the hips. So we want both of these. We want this, the torso and the head inside the hips. That's it. Because when we select the hips, we want everything to move. Right now we want the head inside the torso because when we move the torso, we want the head to move. That's it. And then the head obviously on its own. But overall, the main thing is you're animating the root. So if we look at this, Oh, sorry, let's put, we need to put it in. We put it in the group, sorry. I don't know how that got out. But anyway, let's go master. Let's call this master hips. Okay, so we select the master hips, everything moves. And now we can go ahead and just select and move everything. And then when we move the actual master group, you know, it's all moving correctly. And that's it. Just a little hierarchy there set up. That's all you need to do. And then this is, this is really good exercise for just... Uh, getting some confidence in animation. So you could, for example, keyframe the group at uh, one and maybe, I don't know, say you go to 24 and the character is like this, looking there. So it's going like that. And in the middle, you could practice breakdowns. Like, All right, how does that character get to that, that from that pose to that pose? Is it going to arc upwards or downwards? All right, let's have it arc upwards. So it's going to go... And then cut, copy. Wait, what we'll do? We'll just if we go to the end. We'll bring it down. If we look now, okay, it's doing that. And then we can just make that a bit quicker if we want. Twenty. Right, and then you can practice. All right, it's going there. If we select all the cubes, keyframe. We can just keyframe this normally. So we come here, characters going that way we're going to delay the head we're going to delay the head a bit more and then we might have the torso come first and then the head is still back and then the head comes forward and then you can just practice little animations like that you know little transitions you could do you could just have the character there looking around just little animations that you know maybe up and down jumps as well you know have to have the root go up that from there it goes up and then down and then you could have like a kind of a goes back right it goes woo. and delete that it could be like maybe it anticipate instrument first and then comes down and then comes back i don't know just because you could play around but that's the rig basically you just want to play around with that so yeah i just wanted to quickly share that it was a comment you know how did, how did i do the proxy rig and you can use this for just timing and doing all your animations it's just very good to just block stuff out quickly with this and and uh, you know if you can really block something out really well in a simple simple uh, shapes and stuff just imagine what you can do with a full rig you know if you just break it down properly and plan it so so yeah i hope that helped uh, i'll see you in the next video take it easy check out if, if you're serious about animation check out the link in the description uh, check out the webinar you know and uh yeah if you want to hone in on your skills and master the fundamentals and advanced techniques of animation you know i go for a very detailed course uh, but yeah in the meantime happy animating stay disciplined be consistent have a desire desire the desire will get you the consistency and discipline and you will want to just animate 
every day in practice, you know, and obviously look after your health. Fitness animator, of course, look after your health, and I'll see you in the next video.